so I can see that the patient is sitting up and they're quite <laughs> breathless at the moment. So you can access the stethoscope, so if you hold out your palm, yep. it should then give you an option to pick your stethoscope up. So if you pick that up, yep. and then if you take that towards her chest, um, you should be able to have a listen to her chest and listen for any sort of wheeziness there, and let me know what you hear. Okay. Looks like Stephen's coming in to have a listen to We've got a choice of different oxygen masks here. So there's a simple face mask, a non-rebreathe. So you can pick whichever one you think is most suitable for her. Okay, to so start off with, uh, I think I'm going to choose a non-rebreathe. Okay, so uh, yeah, why don't you do the oxygen mask? I'll prescribe the salbutamol yeah. and then you put it on. Yeah, and I can do the blood pressure cuff, that's quite simple. Yeah, and if you're struggling, just say, oh, I think I need a hand and yeah, I'll come sure. and help yeah. you. You can remove the oxygen mask you've got on. If that's okay, excellent. Yep. And then if you're able to pick up the nebulizer, you can pop that on and see if that helps at all. We know that simulation plays an incredibly important role in the way that we train our doctors and nurses. And often that simulation is restricted. You need bricks and mortar buildings, you need access to very expensive equipment and in mixed reality what we're able to do is reproduce that simulation in a hyper-realistic way and bring that content through instructor-led tuition to the masses. They can access that content with nothing more than their mobile device and they can do it from anywhere. This is a, a, a really unique first for the NHS where we can help um, work with a uh, tech company uh, in the United States in this case uh, to develop some really useful uh, um, healthcare uh, training packages which can be used universally.